Hey, how's it going there, guys? Uh, Saturday, January 14th, 2012. And let's see, not, not too much going on. Something I wanted to talk about today. Uh, a little pet peeve of mine. Something I, I deal with a lot, uh, mostly at work, but it comes up a lot and it brings up kind of a, a subject that, uh, that kind of interests me in what other people, what other people's opinion is about, is about this. Uh, and that's lateness, being late, tardy. Uh, now everyone is late every once in a while. It happens, you know, it's, um, you know, nobody is perfect. I'm not saying that I'm always on time, but it, being late is kind of annoying to me, you know. And when I when I say late, I mean like late to where it's it's uh, intruding on what you're supposed to be doing, on plans that you have, or you know. When you're late, it doesn't matter. It's if, if you're not doing anything, it doesn't really matter what time you're showing up or whatever. But things like like time schedules and, um, you know, if you're supposed to be doing something at a certain time or you're supposed to be going somewhere at a certain time, you know, being late affects that. And things like, okay, uh, if you're supposed to be somewhere at 2.30... And you show up at 2.30, you're late. The way I see it, you're late. Uh, especially now, the, things like the main the main thing I guess I'm thinking about is, is with work. Now, I, now, as far as you guys and what you guys do for, for work, I don't know if this will pertain to you. It may or may not. But with, with us, uh, you know, we have a shift and it ends. And if it's really slow, you know, we once our time is up, we can just go. But that's not always the case. It's not so. It's not always possible to do to do so. So it's like we're really supposed to wait for our relief to come up, the person, or our relief to come in. Excuse me, the person that's supposed to be taking over when our shift is done. And again, if your shift is done by two thirty, you want to leave at two thirty. But then people come in at 2.30 and then they got to go and go upstairs and put their stuff in the locker and come down and BS for 10 minutes or whatever. No. If you come in at 2.30 and you're supposed to start at 2.30, you're late. Okay? You know, me, I tend to overcompensate and I tend to be very early for things. Uh, I mean, I'd rather be too early than, than late or past when I'm supposed to be there. Um, so I'm not saying, you know, be, be like me, but I think at least five minutes ahead of time is, is good, you know, especially, and then you get something like, uh, um, like you, you go to a movie. Now me, if I'm going to a movie at the movie spot, now we all know, before I get too ahead of myself, we all know movies usually don't start on time. If a movie's supposed to start at 3, there's usually 10, 15 minutes of trailers, and then it starts, and, and that's fine. But the thing is, if the movie's, if a movie's supposed to start at 3, I want to be there at least 10 minutes ahead of time before the movie's supposed to start. That way I can get whatever drinks, snacks, whatever it is I want to do, go to the bathroom, find my seat, and be set and ready to see the movie. I, I can't stand it when people come late to a movie and then they get up in the middle. You're going to get up during the previews? Fine. But don't get up in the middle of the movie to go to the bathroom to get your snacks. Go ahead of time. It's, you know, you're depriving yourself of part of the movie, first off. You know, we, we all know how much movie prices are. Again, I'm not sure about uh, in, in other countries, but I mean here it's it's at least ten to twelve dollars. You know, it, all, it depends on 
you know, yeah, you, sometimes you have an earlier show and you have a matinee, or it depends on the theater and some theaters are more than others. But anyway, it's at least 10 to 12 bucks to see one movie. And you want to see it. I want to see the whole movie. You know, and it's annoying and it's irritating and it's disruptive when people get up in the middle of the movie to get their snacks and go to the bathroom and whatnot. Now, sometimes I understand when it's when your parents there with with a little kid, you can't really control. They, you know, they can't always sit still. Sometimes it can't be helped. There's exceptions to everything. I understand that. Um, but it's just. Uh, it's, it's just, I just find it frustrating. And then, like I said, I'm going to go back to what I was saying, what I was saying to work, you know, 2.30 comes, I want to leave at 2.30. Or whenever it is, I'm supposed to be going home. And plus, you know, we got to clock out, and if we don't clock out by a certain time, then we need like a special card so we can clock out because we're over a time, and I got to find the manager. It's just a whole pain in the ass thing it's 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 annoying you know and, and i understand like i said people are late sometimes it happens but you get some people that are constantly late it's like every day like the, like there's this one guy who uh, this guy's my relief there's an extra 10 minutes which yeah okay you're getting paid for it but it's not the point so 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 yeah because that's my thoughts on on being late you know so again everyone has everyone has an opinion about this i'm sure everyone has thoughts about this situations so i'd love to know what do you guys think about this you know do you think if you know if you're supposed to be there by two and you get there by two that's that's good enough you're on time um or you know should you be a little early so you're not rushing. Me, I hate rushing, you know. But I don't know. That's, um, I, I guess if I rant for today, I don't know. You know, that's, I got to think of something to t talk about with these things. Um, yeah, so so what are your opinions on, on this? You know, for me... Work at least five minutes ahead of time. Movie, something like that. At least ten minutes. Give yourself at least ten minutes. Like that's, but that's me. That's just my thinking and my opinion. You know. Uh, so again, if you guys have any stories or thoughts on this, you know, let me know. It'd be, it'd be cool to see what you guys think. Uh, on another quick note, I checked my my channel today, and I got two more subs. So another six more to a hundred, and then when we hit the the magical hundred, then we find out what's in the box. And if you don't know what that means, uh, go back to I think it's a couple a couple of vlogs ago, where I got I got a package in the mail. I was talking about a contest, and I had ordered a, a special item for for the contest, but I didn't want, I didn't show it in the video. Because I wanted it to be a surprise for when I do the 100 subs video. Uh, so, so another six more to go. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's about it for today. And, uh, oh, as soon as I get done with this, I'm going to do a figure review. So, I'll do this and the review. And then when I get done with that, those videos will go up. So, so there should be... Uh, a new vlog and a new review up fairly soon. Uh, and all right, so that's it. Hope you guys had a really good day today. And I'm gonna get these done, and then try and relax the rest of Saturday. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye bye.